hello welcome to my video i haven't been here for such a long time it's been like three two three weeks um i lost my mojo for my nail art for a bit and i just wanted to do something else so i thought what i do is i'll show you how i made these little christmas decorations using key ring blanks that i brought because when i was well when i was selling false tips like pop-ons whatever um, I was gonna make key rings to go with them as a free gift yeah well that one didn't work anyway so my husband needed a decoration for his work and I have not got my Christmas tree out I'm not getting it out this year which is quite liberating funnily enough so I thought I'd make one using my key ring blanks my nail art equipment and some UV resin gel that bakes only in a UV light it does not bake in an LED light I've tried um, I also got a dry white marker as well to draw my circles that I went round some items with. So these key ring blanks have a plastic cover on each side. So I took the front cover off or whatever, I took one cover off, kept the other side on and then I drew on it. But even if you draw this on the actual key ring blank, because it's a dry whiteboard, um, you can just wipe it off. It's not a problem. It's not going to ruin it, stain it or anything. So I'm going to show you how I make a... Christmas wreath. Um, I did do one on a nail a while ago, a couple of years ago, I think. Um, I'll link that video so you can see it. Um, I am using Madame Glam because I do love the Madame Glam colours. And uh, I'll show you exactly how I made it. I've got a few different greens so that you can get different colours of depth on it, really. Right. Um, yeah, so um, I've been a bit busy. Life and home and uh, I also got my booster jab and I'll tell you something that made me feel rough really rough to the point of I had to come home from work I felt really awful like a f aching ache in my body like the flu ache it was the weirdest thing ever <clears throat> but I'm all right now um, back to our old maskies so yeah we're all wearing our masks and uh, right let's get on with this I should have zoomed in and I didn't, but as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm dipping my fine liner brush in my darkest green because it's the background colour and I'm just drawing little fake lines and I'm just flicking it, I'm trying to, <coughs> I've done the circle so it gives me like, whoops, it gave me just somewhere to be in and not make it out of shape, you know, it just trying to make, I'm just trying to make life easy for me really. <coughs> So I'm just flicking the green in and then once you're happy with that, you just bake it under your LED light for however long the manufacturer states. Madden Glam's 30 seconds. So that's where it goes in a Madden Glam lamp for 30 seconds. And I've done this first piece and I had it in my hand. But what I've been doing was I've been laying it on a tile and I couldn't find my tile. But you'll see in my next shot, you'll see the tile. So I'm like, ah, oh. see, as if by magic. So now I'm going for the lighter green, like the one in the middle, and I'm just putting it every now and again. I'm not covering it because I don't want to cover the dark green. I just want to give it a little highlight. Um, with these things, you can paint on either side. It doesn't matter. I wish now that I put the glittery bit on the other side, but it's not a problem. Um, you live and learn. Yeah, so I just put the colours in, like the, little, the different colour spikes. And uh, I just got, went round in just a few different places. I didn't go over every colour. I just went over in a few different places. Then I went up back over. I did put a bit of the yellow that's on my palette on there. And then I went back over with the dark green and then the middle green and the yellow. And I sort of alternated the colours. I didn't bake that set. What I did was I just um, went on the... I'd done three layers. So I'd done the dark green, the light green, and then I'd done a mixture of the two on the third layer. Um, I didn't want like bake that, I just left that so that they sort of like merged a bit together. Um, yeah, so I sound so miserable. Oh um, yeah, and that's what I like about it. You can check the back as well. I like this is like oh I missed a piece. Like the one I done of I done a gnome, which I absolutely love my gnome, he's amazing. But I messed up big time, proper messed up big time. Because I, I wanted to foil it, one side green, one side red, yeah? So I laid down my gnome, put down my thing, 
put the foil on it, put it under the light and realise I put it in upside down. Like, idiot woman. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it, look, it looks alright. I added a few Shawovskis on that one. I didn't do it on this one. I just thought I'd do a quick plain one just to show you and then I'll bake that again. Um, so that's come out of the light. So I've got a piece of just cotton wool with a bit of rubbing alcohol on just to wipe off the green. Or did I take the backing off? Let me just check that. You know, just, like, can you imagine it? I sat there and made that and didn't, yeah, no, I did take the backing off. Yeah, so you can, you just, you can use dry wipe pen, a whiteboard pen, because you can just wipe it off and it's not gonna mark or affect your, your, your thing. So now I'm going in with my Madame Glam um, sparkly colors. My sparkle, sparkle ones. I will put them all, I will link everything, so don't worry, you will get a link to everything. Um, I, I did fast forward this, but because I hadn't been on for a while, I wanted to have just a little chat. See how everyone's doing. How's, how is everyone doing for Christmas? You know, I'm not doing Christmas this year. And you know something, it's so liberating to know that I haven't got to put up a tree. I haven't got to cook a dinner. I ain't got to do nothing. Not to have been. Not in my house anyway. I'm not putting up a tree in that because for me personally, I have no small children in my family. Um, so I feel not having a tree is not a problem because the youngest child in my family is 27. Um, she still loves Christmas and that, but she lives with her nan, so they're doing Christmas at their house this year. Um, so no one's coming around, so I don't feel the need to put up decorations or lights. I'm not cooking here, I'm cooking at my mum's with my eldest daughter. So um, I'll be doing Christmas at my mum's house, so I won't be doing it here this year. Which is quite liberating, because I've been wanting to do that for a few years. Not worry about Christmas, putting up a tree and... And you know what, I felt really guilty near a Christmas, like two weeks before Christmas, I'm like, I've got to go in the garage and get my tree down. But this year it's nice to know that all I've got to do is get up Christmas Day, go to my mum's house Christmas Day, and cook at somebody else's house all day. I do like cooking Christmas dinner, and I, I know my mum loves it, so I don't mind doing it. So what I'm doing here is, I'm just put me like, I put my baubles on, then I've got my little handheld lamp, and I just give them a bit of a, a freeze, just so that they, because I noticed that the red, the first red dot put on started to run. It got a bit like, mm, big. So I just thought I'd just put some blobs on here and there. Um, just to make it look, look a little bit like reefy. And then every time I was happy with that, I just done that like quick, like five seconds with the lamp, the handheld torch. And then what I did was once I finished and I was happy with it all, baked it in my lamp for the full 30 seconds that you're meant to bake these, lamp, these gels for. So. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just putting on some more bubbles. More bubbles. What I think, what I'll do is I could do that same one again, but next time I'll do it on the back. So if you're painting, like if you want to do this wreath, but you want it on the back, then what you do is you paint the baubles first because you've got to paint the foreground first before you paint the background because it's the way you're having it, because it, I feel that putting the, the gel, I put some shimmer in the gel and it sort of covered up the baubles, but when I looked on the other side, it doesn't, so. Yeah, so it depends on how you're painting it. You've got to think of, it's really funny because you've got to think of the way you do your design. So if you're painting on, say, the back of it, for some reason, you've got to think of what's at the front of your picture. So for this, it would be my baubles first, and then it would be the lighter colors, and then it would be a medium green, and then it would be a dark green. And then you put your, your seal over it. Um, that's how you do it. Um, but i done this on the, on the front, so i just done the reef first. I've, got, I've made a bit of a mistake, so I cleaned it up. Um, so this is me baking it. So now I'm gonna show you how I make my cover with the UV gel. So I get one of them little tiny shop bottle cut things that you can get from like a pound shop get like hundreds of them and I'm I've, but they've got lines and I need to get ones that haven't got lines in the bottom because it, it catches the smallest amount of like Mika powders it is and you just mix it in and then once you're happy with it what I do is I mix a little bit in and then I'll just put more resin in really 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 mix it and try not to get any piece of powder like clumps of powder 
um, you will get air bubbles so as you mix it you'll see lots of air bubbles but there's a little trick I'll show you on here how to stop getting air bubbles I've seen people do it with resin but I'm not sure I've tried it with this resin and it's been fine but I've just been very careful because it's using a flame and the heat from a lighter will pop the bubbles but I'll show you so this is me I'm going to zoom in now so what I do is once I've mixed it I shall um, just try and pour it in the middle of my art like my um, key ring or whatever but I, I forgot to tell you at the very beginning before you do anything it you use you do this as the same way as you do a gel nail so you get your surface ready first so you buff it so what I do is I buff it and I buff it all the way to the edge and then sometimes I get the buffer and I'll just run it across the tip of the edge just to make sure that that gel will stick because it will shrink it like gel on a nail tip it will shrink so you need to make sure you've buffed it see then I get a lighter and what it does is it just pops all the bubbles and seeing it on the tile makes you make sure that you can see it's all level and it's all straight and you know and you're happy with it and once you've got rid of as many bubbles as you can you bake this in a UV light for two minutes and that's how you bake it two minutes it doesn't have a sticky residue but I still wipe it with a bit of um, rubbing alcohol just out of habit really and then once I'm happy with that Bob's your uncle fan is your aunt you've got a set of Christmas decorations and to be honest with you it's not really cost you nothing because you've got uh, you've got probably the majority of the stuff at home so you know in the back you can really see the green and I wish I'd put this like stuff on the back but it doesn't matter it's not a problem so that's my one with the blue I like the blue one and that's my gnome you can't feel it. It's quite nice. It's really solid. It's good. My gnome. I love my gnome. You know, that gnome took me like an hour and a half to make. Um, yeah, and my Christmas tree. I made that for my friend. But that's it. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you all later. Have a nice week. Ta-da. Bye.